nature strip one sees piece of history today here's a tj treble for the sprint king nature strip home affairs has made a mess of them it's j mac with a big treble at flemington on home affairs Getting ready for the, for the weather in England. Yeah. My name's Chris Waller. I'm a trainer from Sydney, Australia, and we're looking forward to racing horses at Royal Ascot this year. All going to plan. There'll be Nature Strip, who we've got here, and also Home Affairs. They're multiple Group One winners. Well bred, very good looking, and very fast. And it's all Nature Strip who explodes away. Home Affairs went for home at the 150. Three, four links in front. I think we're bringing the right two horses over, but fully respecting what we'll be racing. It's a great event. Everyone here in Australia and New Zealand is thoroughly looking forward to the week. We've got some great horses here in Australia. As a rule, our depth and our sprinters would be equal to any country in the world, if not right up at the top. Obviously it's a challenge when you're coming from the other side of the world. There's seasonal changes that horses have to go through, and we respect what we're going to be racing against. It's going to be tough. You've got America, you've got obviously England, and Ireland being so close to their, to their homes is a big plus. And he blasts away, three leagues September run, Bella Nibertina swats that, and it's all nature's trip, who explodes away, he's going to do it again, conquers another mountain, his second daily classic. When Nature Strip first started his racing, he was quite aggressive, and each year he's got a little bit better, just through maturity alone. It used to be flat out, catch me if you can type tactics, and now he's actually developed a more tactical race pattern, and it's seen him be a lot more effective. So now that he's learnt to settle, relax, yeah, he's enjoying his racing better, and he's winning a lot of good races. Is he improving? It seems like he is. <laughs> like a fine way to get better with him. At the 200 metres, Home Affairs lets down. Nature Strip coming out after him, followed by Eduardo. Nature Strip chasing Home Affairs. Home Affairs digs in for the fight, and next, Nature Strip rusting. Home Affairs, Nature Strip lunges. Photo finish. Home Affairs, he's the new kid on the block, and unfortunately for me, he's a cult, so he might not be racing for too much longer, but he certainly made the Australian racing scene go well. He was effective at two, but since he's turned three, He's just gone to the elite level. Not only has he been winning the big Group 1 races, his ratings are extremely high. So he's going to have a very bright future at stud. And um, we might not have home affairs for as long as we've had Nature Strip, but there'll be a lot of young home affairs coming through. So the breeders will be looking forward to that opportunity. Both Home Affairs and Nature Strip in their what we call pre-training, so the early part of training, have done quite a bit of hill work. I just think that sort of builds the muscles and then it's just a matter of waking them up. So we do a little bit of treadmill work at a range of four to six degrees. So that's our best way of simulating it um, and just making sure that those muscles that they've built early on are still being reminded that they might be called upon. They've just got to be well prepared because it'll be tough thousand and tough 1200 metre distances. Well, it's a proud moment, yeah. We're representing our sport on the world stage. And just with this trip, we've seen these two horses get a lot of attention. And that does bring to mind how important it is. That's the one thing that stuck out to me early days. The attention that it captures from all walks of life, from royalty all the way to everybody that just would be desperate to one day get to Royal Ascot. And I think that's the beauty of racing. It's a very global sport. Any race, any nationality, any religion, we're all on the same field. We're all supporting one another on. We're all trying to beat each other. So it's just an important part to keep up with everybody else and measure how, how good or how, how inferior we actually are. So yeah, it'll be a good learning curve for me personally, and um, we'll see how these boys fare.